Hello everyone. Um, this video is just to show a bit uh, my little findings, first findings with uh, using uh, GitHub Copilot. So this is VS Code. This is a Go project. Um, I'm, right now I'm developing a small tiny Golang library um, to, let's say, show the first uh, uh, log lines when you run like a program uh, designed to be, uh, yeah, just any program pretty much, but that's for mostly for GitHub projects. So for example, if I the run, uh, you can see my terminal right at the bottom. If I the run uh, this thing, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one. If I do that, you see at the beginning, I have this little equal signs here with like names, etc. blah, blah, blah. With showing the version running, a uh, few links, etc. So that's the library because I need it for all my projects. So I decided to do a Go library for that. Anyway. So this is the library. Uh, I already wrote a few things, but I thought it was a would be a good idea to uh, start recording a bit my findings uh, with using uh, GitHub Copilot. So GitHub Copilot is an extension. Uh, you install it. Uh, it's really fast to install. Uh, there's, I think you need to sign in once on GitHub uh, with it. It's uh, relatively easy. You can sign in with your browser as well, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now. The old feature, I thought it would be complicated to set up or anything, but it's not actually, it's really uh, straightforward. Um, so right now, uh, basically my this library only has two exported methods, uh, make string and make lines. Make string is just uh, make lines with uh, joining the lines with uh, new lines. Uh, so the interesting part is make lines. Uh, so you give it a, a settings struct, which has a bunch of things. And we're gonna go see that. And with those settings, it's gonna generate the lines, like creating version, etc. As I showed you uh, right before, right? Uh, so let's go. Ooh, not there. Sorry. Uh, let's go to. Uh, let's not command this. Oop. Okay, it's not there yet. So we're gonna code it. So here are the settings. Uh, just for example, the line length, for a separator, root URL, the user for like uh, minus QDM12, repository depending on the project, etc. list of autos, etc. etc. Now I want them, if they're not set, I want them to default to something, right? Uh, so for that, you need to have a sort of function or method in Go. Uh, you cannot, there's no tag or anything. So that's where we're going to code. Uh, so I do, okay, you can, uh, actually, let me try that. You can write uh, a command that will generate a function. Uh, it doesn't work that well, but sometimes it works well. Uh, so let's try it. Uh, set default values for settings. Press tab to completion. All right. Oh, all right. Press tab. Okay. Press enter. And look at this. It's it's so that default to 40 is here. So it's setting this to 40. This is not right because in reality, what we want is if s line length is equal to zero, then we want to set it to the default, right? Oh, press tab, done. And this as well, I don't want it exported. Uh, I want it, uh, yeah, hidden away from the API. So now let's continue. Oh, look at this. So this is the second one, separator, right? So somehow Copilot saw that, right? And it is the right thing, defaults, perfect. And then press tab, continue. Uh, the third one, yeah, root URL, yeah. If it's uh, empty, yep, perfect. That's GitHub. That's what is in this comment here, right? Now let's try, is it gonna suggest, oh, it's suggesting as the user, which it doesn't have a default, right? So this is like an AI mistake, I guess. Like user is not meant to have a default. So yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Uh, let's try. If s dot what's the next one user repository don't have default it's made by prefix which defaults to this thing so made by prefix see it it found this so this is not from someone else's source code right this is like this emoji and all that these are from the commands above right so somehow copilot so uh, the commands above and plug them in in the code there so pretty cool um, now let's continue what else uh, made by prefix Autos, okay, this is a bit more complicated because it, if there's no author, it defaults to one author, which is the root URL slash user. Let's see if it finds it out. So this is not totally correct. I'm going to fix it a bit. Uh, it's if the length of autos is zero, because it can be null, but that's different from an empty string as well, uh, empty slicer. 
and look at this it found it this is this is incredible so it found it from this it extrapolated that wait no <laughs> okay yeah here it extrapolated the right thing which is I mean, to me, it's not even as the root URL here, it's root URL. So the thing really like figured it out on its own, which is, I love it. I love it. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, next one is version. So that's pretty straightforward. Forward. Yes, yes, unknown. All right, if commit, oops, uh, that's my bad. Unknown, tab. Every time I'm, t um, I'm just pressing tab, very much like it's tab and clicking. That's what coding is today. Um, okay, so build date is unknown date. Yep. All right, enter, tab, enter, tab, enter, enter. Uh, okay, and now now there's no more. Uh, let's see. There's no more defaults. The all these are meant to uh, not have any defaults and to stay as empty. So let's try. What does it say here? Wow, okay, that's from someone else's repo, definitely. <laughs> you are using the default enhancement, please set it in the settings. Wait, no, no, yeah, I never wrote that. <laughs> so anyway, so it's a funny mix of like your own code and other people could mix with some AI, you know, genius spikes here and there. Anyway, the, the, that's all for today, uh, but it, this is pretty exciting. Uh, it's already very exciting, I think, and uh, I'm definitely never gonna. Why would I ever use something else on VS Code with GitHub Copilot now? It's when when I would see someone not using it, I would be like, "What are you doing?" Like, it's really it's really something that's gonna, in my opinion, uh, be part of a developer journey uh, from now. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was relatively short, but just to give you a glimpse of what's possible. Um, this is just my first few hours with it, so it has been pretty good so far. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it.